वेलकम टू आवर वेबिनार ऑन न्यू आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ रिपोर्ट मॉड्यूल इन जेनेसिस सॉफ्टवेयर माई नेम इज शायन घोषाल एंड टूडे आई विल बी प्रोवाइडिंग यू ए ब्रीफ ओवर व्यू ऑफ आवर न्यू वेब रिपोर्ट मॉड्यूल फंक्शनलिटी एंड अलॉन्ग विद इट वी विल डिस्कस फ्यू की पॉइंट्स विच विल हेल्प यू टू मैनेज रिपोर्ट मोर इफेक्टिवली वी हैव इम्प्लीमेंटेड फ्यू आर्किटेक्चरल चेंजेस एंड एडिशन टू आवर वेब रिपोर्ट मॉड्यूल so now let's get started so let me go ahead and log in to my account and now i am just going to the report tab clicking on by report now report module will open in a separate tab once you click on report instead of the same window and this is how the new report home will look like we have removed the repository and server tab from the report module instead of that we have introduced tab like manage reports manage roles and report inbox in the report home window so now let me go one by one first i will go to the manage role tab here in this window you can create new roles and manage existing role for the users now let me tell you one important thing that this tab will only be available for the admin role users other role users will not have access on this tab so there will be a default admin role available in the role master you need to assign the role to a user and the user will have the admin privileges so now when you creating a new role you need to provide a role name here i am giving a role name called new role and you need to select the access as view or all a view access role users only can view run and schedule a report however all access user will have the permission to edit and modify the existing report so i'm just creating a new role with the view access making it active and creating that role so this role has been created and this role will have the view access and this is the admin role which is which will be by default available to you and you can tag this role to a particular user to have the admin privileges now you need to uh, tag this role from the uh, user like you need to go let me go ahead and show you uh, here i am logging out from my account i am logging to my second account so this is my second account and if i go ahead and go to security user i can see that this is my account and here i can add this new role on the report role so this is the role which we have just created i am tagging this role to my account from this account and then i'm logging out this is done and now i am logging out from this account i am logging back to my admin account because i need to provide some access to this role so again i will go to the report so now i will go and check the manage report tab here you can see a similar window like repository which was available in our previous report module 
this tab will also be available only for the admin role users other role users will not have access to it from this window you can assign a specific report folder or report to a specific role like you used to do it in your previous report module repository you need to select the report folder or report from the repository view and then need to select the destination folder in the configurable view where you can add the report and then click the arrow key in the middle and finally click on save i'm selecting my new role here i don't have any role report in this particular role so i am taking few reports from the admin module suppose i am checking uh, taking the status folder here see this is how it will come here and i am taking some of the reports which is available custom report which is available in the admin role so this is this is the folder i am taking here you can see all the uh, reports is custom report i'm clicking on save so additionally uh, you now you will have the privilege to provide a report level edit view access to a role for that you need to go to a particular report suppose i have role which is having view access so by default if i log in from my second account all the report will open in a view mode now suppose i want to uh, give a particular user to edit a single particular report so in that case you need to right click on a custom report the system report will not have the editable access to any user only the custom report you can add edit access so this is a custom report where you can give access called all access as all and update in that case if i logged in from my second account i will have the edit permission from for this report only other report will have the view access suppose i am doing it for this uh, report also i am giving edit permission here so i have given edit permission on two two reports one is inventory status ledger and another one is raw material now if i go ahead and check this these are the uh, generic reports right so in generic reports will not have the manage content access label permission because this is not allowed so this is uh, how the manage reports tab will work and now we'll go ahead and check the report inbox the purpose of the tab is basically to see completed scheduled reports this is a new feature which will we have introduced and will help you to get the file in the report module itself so previously you used to go to your uh, local machine and then you need to uh, download the file you get the file so now what could we have done you can uh, go ahead in the portal and you can download the schedule report from this particular window here in this window the the schedule will be available for only for 7 days for from, from here you can download or share the report link to your recipient and they will also have the download file at their system so for suppose you click on this download button it will get downloaded into your system and if you uh, click on the clipboard option so there will be a link copy and if you send this link to anyone they will be able to download your report and it can be shareable to anyone and this 
reports will be available available for 7 days only we will check how we can configure the report inbox so for that you need to go to manage reports and you need to search the report you have already scheduled and you want that report to be dumped in the report inbox suppose i'm searching for a name called image here because we already scheduled this report so i'll just show you how we have configured this report inbox so you need to right click on a particular report suppose here it is cell summary image wise the one which we have scheduled so and then you need to click on output path config and here you need to give a path path for the report inbox so here we have given ticket here so if we go ahead and check there is a folder created called ticket in the admin and we have also mentioned the scheduled name the parameter of the scheduled name and the batch file name this is how you need to go ahead and configure this report output path and then click on save once you save that and the report is scheduled that particular time the report will be dumped on the report inbox another thing is that admin uh, privilege will have the privilege to see all the roles report dump but if you log in from a specific a uh, role other than admin you will only have the permission to check the report dump for your role the selected user role and you can go ahead and do the scheduling for other report as well so first you need to do the scheduling and then you need to configure the output path configuration you can add multiple folder name by doing the black slashes and the report folder name so now uh, we have uh, checked that the three report modules how it will work and now i will go ahead and log in from my second account to show you uh, the how we have given the permission for the two reports so we'll check that so i have logged in from my second account and now i'll go to the report module you can see all the folders will have the view view access because you don't have the given the edit access to this particular role and you can check that the uh, report manage reports manage roles options is not available it is only available for the admin users so now if you check we have given access edit access for this two report you can edit this report and raw material report we have given edit access for these two reports other than that you can check that all the other reports will have the locked sign so you will be not be able to edit the report if you go ahead edit the report you can edit the report from additionally we have enhanced the look and feel of the report editor window functionality this functionality will have will be the same as it was in the previous report editor so there is just a look and feel level uh, changes you can see they manage objects you can do it from here and there are few things which was there in the left side we have bring that in the top so you'll have better uh, visibility to uh, modify or edit level doing things in the report that is all for the today's webinar thank you for attending the webinar